What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies, Jesse and Mike. How's it going? What up? Guys, Badlands is back. We're doing Season 2, Episode 1, entitled Tiger Pushes Mountain. All right? Uh, so it's back, guys. I mean, uh, what would you guys think? You liked it? Yeah, no, it was yeah. action-packed before before you realized it. The freaking episode was over. Yeah, you yeah, I, I totally agree. It was definitely action-packed, um, and uh, I don't know. I just I just really enjoyed it. Uh, in this one, what do we got going on in this episode? Uh, we got a bunch of stuff going on in this episode. Yeah, we got a ton of stuff going on in this episode. Uh, we have, you know, the reveal of where Sonny is and his awesome scene. Yep. We have... Um, what, what, MK's what, training. Right? We know where he is. We know where Ryder, yeah. the, um, the Baron's son, is. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and the Widow's agenda, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, we basically got a whole bunch of, of... Again, being the first episode, I think they did a really good job where it's just like... Boop. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, Covered by the all way, their bases pretty smoothly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, by the way, I, I just want to go ahead, and if you guys haven't realized this, we're doing just a discussion on this. We did a live react, so go check out the live react. We're kind of going to roll in the review and discussion on this one. We're going to figure out what videos we're going to do for yeah. Badlands. Um, as far as, you know, we may not be doing the full review videos, so we might just throw a roll review into here. I just wanted to, you know, if you guys are wondering where the review video is, nope, you didn't miss it. We're kind of just going to roll it into this one at this point. Um, so why don't we go ahead and just, uh, we mentioned it. Let's go to Sonny and the new character, Beiji, played yeah. by Nick Frost. Um, I know we all agreed that uh, bringing Nick Frost in uh, is actually a pretty cool thing to do, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nick's a, Nick's a dick, though. Oh, he's a, yeah. He's a, Nick is a dick. Yeah, that Nick's is true. Nick's a dick. Yeah, my my biggest my biggest uh, question that I got out of that whole the whole Sunny situation was um, how the hell did he got there in the first place? You know what I mean? The because pinks? at the end of yeah, because at the end he was with uh, someone totally totally different. I forgot well, the name of that character. Him over. He didn't bring him MK. Well, that's head. why he was he was he was a uh, slave on the ship, right? Yeah. yeah. He, he yeah. sold him. He sold him. That's what he did. Yeah. Oh, did he? He so he, yeah. so yeah. then he sold him to this guy. This was he. It was the yeah. Ezekiel character. Of yeah. 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 <laughs> that guy. That, yeah. Yeah, but I, I how about that fucking? Saying. How about yeah. the fight with the two with the two slaves that didn't make their quota, man? Oh, oh that was God. brutal. Yeah. So so he's in this. So he's in the slave quarry camp, and they yeah. and everyone has to make a quota. And um, when they do make quota. They get to do fight night where they have this one dude just basically beat up all the guys that did not make the quota for the week. So yeah, so that yeah. was a brutal, a brutal fight. Yeah, man. Man. That was some yeah, sick, man. sick stuff, man. Um, the most graphic stuff we've seen from AMC in yeah. forever. In a yeah, long time. Uh, you know, you know what I like about this show and what sets it apart from a lot of American shows is that you have a lot of like Hong Kong guys. I think they're from Hong Kong. A lot of Hong Kong stunt guys uh doing these fights and choreographing them and making them the sword fights everything what i mean yeah. to say is it's not professionals it's not it's not cut like an american fight scene where it's all no. super close and and you can't make out what's going on like yeah. this is like legit you get to see the moves you get to see it's it's a it's an americanized version of what they do so it's not like a, a three minute long shot of them doing the moves yeah but it's it's the best we could do, I guess, right now. Uh, but this show has always had some really awesome, awesome fight scenes, you know. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah. And this one is just that was just gory yep. as hell. Yeah, that know? was gruesome. That was gruesome. Yeah. You know, especially that you know, pile driver straight onto the hard floor. First, he stepped oh, on the God. dude's head. That was the same dude he yeah. stepped on his head, and <laughs> then he picked him up and piled, broke his neck and blo oh, damn. exploded his head. How about uh, the fight yeah. scene with Sonny before he get when he gets to the camp when he's in the stockade? Oh, oh when he yeah. Yeah, no, this little jungle gem cool. maneuver. It's so cool. What do you guys feel about the wire work? You know, like I, I honestly, I don't mind wire work. You know, if you're into the crouching yeah, tiger, dragon overdone. type stuff, yeah. As long I mean, as it's smooth, as long as it's smooth. There was one, there was the one fight scene um, with uh, the widow when she slid toward the two guys with the sword. It looked yeah. a little, but um, I guess I mean the way you know, as long it depends on how they capture it. Depends on how they, how smooth they make the the actual. Maneuver, you know, right? Yeah. Maneuver, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I you know? um, we'll get to the widow in a second. I want to just continue talking yeah. about Sunny real quick because uh, Sunny has been, you know, uh, the Beiji Nick Nick Frost characters was like, 
listen, man, if you're looking to get out, I can help you. Whatever you need, I can help you. So he asks him for a map. Yeah. He gets him a map, and he's like, um, and he, he you know, at the, towards the end of the episode, Sonny's like, I'm going to, par- you know, he's purposely not going to make his quota because he wants to fight. He wants to get in the ring and fight, to, to, I guess, to try and make an escape or whatever. And so he's like, you're going to, you're going to get out of here. You're going to get out of here. And so Nick nah. decides to turn on him. Um, and, and disappointing. Kind of turn him in. Disappointing. I don't think Nick turned on him fully, though. Oh, I don't think because so. Nick yeah. found him a way out. Yeah. For himself, and he he's did, also getting but that's, Sonny detained. I, I agree. Before that's out. before he found the ring. No, no, no. He, I agree nah. with Jesse. I think he's but, it's it's a long con. I think he's he went and told yeah. on Sonny because he's he knows Sonny's Eugene. still going to get him out. I mean, it, yeah. Part of me is just wanting you know Nick to not be a complete nut douche, but yeah. Yeah, I don't think that. I mean, I I, I kind of agree with you too. I mean, it looks obviously as you know after this episode, it looks like Nick betrayed him big time, and you know. Um, so, so you know, I can I can understand where you guys are coming from with that, and I can see, you know, why would they just bring? I mean, I guess they could make him an asshole. You know, I think he'll stay an asshole, no, but I could, think, he, yeah. but I think he's gonna he's ultimately gonna end up being his sidekick. And I mentioned it in live reaction, yeah. where it's gonna we're gonna have a rush hour situation, which is perfectly yeah. fine by me because I love rush hour movies. So. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, you know, um, yep. I actually watched them recently, and that like this whole dynamic reminded me of them. Oh, yeah. that's great. Um, all right, so uh, I, I think I think let's move on. Yeah, let's so move we're not on. taking so let's hit let's hit up with um, Ryder and the Widow. So we find that that Ryder's taken over the the armadillos, the uh, Oma, o- oil Baron fields. Quinn. Right, yeah. he's taken over. Not only being the Baron, he's got his wife, who was the Baron's second wife. Right, yeah. took him over, yeah. uh, and um, so now he's you know that's his Baroness and. Uh, you know, so he's got he's he's taken over everything except things are in disrepair and he's um I think he's living in Jacoby's mansion they said right yeah they yeah Jacoby's yeah Jacoby right they overthrew Jacoby's yeah. mansion that's where they're living but they went back to to I forget the name of the bar of Quinn's mansion plantation I forget uh-huh. but they went back there uh and then he's got to head over to the, the oil fields and we find out that they've maintained control over the oil fields which if you recall were the widow's oil fields yeah, yeah. so. Long story short, the widow shows up with her with her um, rabble, and they, uh, you know, they just, just take care of business. Take care of business. We see we see the the, <laughs> the, the, the crazy the crazy widow and, and just her, the way she is. She was that was that was the, that was a badass fight scene. It was I a mean, badass fight scene. Je- I mean, uh, right off the bat, I just want to say, you know, obviously Jesse and I feel like the widow doesn't. She's the weakest actress. As far as action is concerned, well, you feel that. like yeah. you're not. She doesn't portray she, her moves be, like she doesn't believe. She's not very believable yeah. as those characters. I mean, but but the but the the, the character itself is a bad. She was if yeah, you separated, of course not. like you know. We'll get and her wire work was a little. Uh, they there was a little like chain mo- jumping, you know, with the heels on the thing. Like that was a mm. little too much for me. Like I. I didn't. Yeah. It didn't look. It didn't flow. It didn't move. Like Mike, you mentioned, like that one move where she slides across the floor. Even that was a little yeah. janky, you know. Like yeah. it was kind of cool, but then after that, it, I think I think the fight scene kind of fell apart. It was only tied together with a lot of blood and cool swords in flesh maneuvers. How about yeah. that? Yeah. Well, how about the fact that uh, all these clippers uh, weren't really doing much uh, defending for themselves Ooh, and really? for their. Right, it seemed they just wiped right through them. She just so, red shirts, literally. Yeah, yeah we really even said uh, we said uh, Ryder put his put all his uh, his his trust in his one right hand man. I, they, he he said his name at one point. Um, I forgot what it was, but anyway, to take care of you know to take care of his, his the Baroness. Yeah, and look what happened. You know, to those guys, they just shredded them. They just shredded it's, them. It's it's so. hilarious because, it, I, but I see it as a story element. Whereas, it's like, well, you know what? It's been six months. Sunny had a mm. whole group of Clippers, and then they got into a big fight. Remember, there was the big yeah. the, the raids and everything. And I think a lot of those Clippers. I mean, this these must be like the lower, like bottom of the barrel Clippers. They're not the best. Maybe, yeah. You know Maybe, I mean? but would you put you know would you put so much stock in the oil fields, which is like the most important thing? But that's for your all. But if that's all group, he has, right? If, if those are the I, only ones that I, he has, well, then he's fucked. Then because they just wiped the wall out. So he's got to have, he's got to have more. You know, perhaps he has the best guys at, you know, uh, Jacoby's, the you know, the the plantation there. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. I'm to protect him there, but I don't know. True, so, yeah. true. You know, I, I you think know it's I mean? a symbolism of power, Quinn. Yeah. Had, had so best. much power right, yeah. and command yeah, that yeah. 
his Clippers were the best of the best. Whereas Ryder, he's now he doesn't he's not command. A true he doesn't command being in charge. Well, look at yeah. look at uh, look at the Baroness had to you know set up that whole plan right before they before yeah. um, what's uh, the tittle tilde tittle. Tittle? Is the name Tittle? Tilda. <laughs> Jared Leto? Yeah, Jared, yeah, Leto. Jared Leto. Before Jared Leto first attacked uh, the oil fields, yeah. Um, it was her that came up with the plan to, uh, you know, to, to she said, I'll look over the scheduling or whatever it was. Yeah. But So it seems like she has a lot of input, you know, when the, pretty much the Baron, uh, Quinn, was always the one that was making all the decisions, you yeah. know. So they well, control, I mean, you know, differently. You know... Uh, Story wise, I think you know. I thought it was good though. I thought I, I enjoyed where they brought everybody. Yeah. We right away. Me too. I don't feel like they drew this out. You know what I mean? Like right no, away. No, not at all. Right away. And again, this is just the premiere. And sometimes yeah. AMC does things a little, you know, crappy. But hopefully, we're gonna get right yeah. into like the story elements. We now know, you know, MK's powers. Yeah, and, let's go and into the widow MK. Is, you yeah. know, we're 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 out. You know. We're there, man. We're I and I hope you yeah. know. I hope it. I hope it just it just it just hits the ground running now and continues. You know, I, I think it hit the ground running, but I, I hope it just keeps going, yeah. without really yeah. you know much slowing down. Um, yeah. why don't we move over to MK real quick and yeah. how? Uh, so last we left off, he was he was kind of taken by the monks at the end of that last fight there. Yeah, and, put on a um, box and carried through put, the desert. Yep, and he was yeah driven through the desert. <laughs> they took him to this oasis, this, this beautiful, this beautiful, beautiful place. landscape. Right, we were yeah. saying that. There was one though. Even the quarry the was amazing looking and... too. Yeah, like the locations here yeah. were just so. Even they... though, like you know, yep, it was definitely cool. Yep. So MK's been training in a place where not he's not the only one that has power, which is really cool. So mm -hmm. so yeah, we get a really cool scene with when he meets the master who he's been wanting to meet for like I guess six months now, and she tempts him. He's like, I want to leave, and he's like, she's like, okay, if you want. And there's this really yeah. cool scene where he turns on his power and attacks her and she stops him with one hand and then just boop, bap, boop, beep, boop, you know, does this, these little uh, maneuvers on him and like knocks him out. And then she wakes him up. So uh, we see that this master has this power that we have, we haven't seen yet mm -hmm. in the show. Yeah. Um, the healing power, especially. She's also got that healing power. We find out that, yeah, his hand, uh, bro busted her bone, broke the bone through the skin and she was able to heal it. So, yeah. Um, as far as that, I'll just quickly say my piece. I'm really excited and happy that they're bringing something like this to the TV, where mm. you have this, you have this like dark power, and she has this like light power. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I really enjoy that, and I hope they don't go real stingy with it, and they don't really show it that much because they barely yeah. showed his power. They, they like, you know what I mean? In the first season, yeah. and now you have all these. I want. I like this power. I, it it makes it such a, a different show when you're adding like this type of stuff in there, and I hope it catches on. Hope people don't shy away from it. Yep. Be like, look, these people have powers, you know? Yeah, I, I enjoy his powers a lot. Something that's not usual kind of disappointed me though, and I don't know why. Okay. I kind of expected, you know, the master in this kind of you know Jedi master Jedi disciples, <laughs> all that kind of situation. I expect it to be kind of Yoda-ish, a little, little bit more. Yeah. I honestly expect Yoda's voice, and I'm disappointed, like, <laughs> you for some Yoda's. reason. You yeah. wanted I, Yoda's. I, was I, yeah. man, I thought you were going to be like, no, I don't like that it's like a younger woman and stuff. And You wanted no, it to be no, fucking no. Yoda. I, I was literally <laughs> expecting Yoda's, Great, like, man. Frank Oz's Yoda voice. Mm, we're 900 years old. You reach. Look as good as this. You will not. That was a God, second act. That would have been. That would have been. Yeah, hilarious. no. Unfortunately, unfortunately, there's a little bit of trademark. Uh, yeah. If that was to happen, right? But yeah. Randomly disappointed. Uh, all right. Well, minus. All right, but minus that, it. I. I think the great. master's actually pretty cool. I like that yeah. it's a kind of younger person. You know. Um, well, she sees something in him, obviously. Yeah. You know, she 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 obviously asked. I think it was Ava. I think was the original trainer yeah. that he was training with. Um, obviously, you know, he was asking her to give him, uh, you know, to give her all the information because he yeah, trusted, yeah. you know, Ava and yeah. was telling him at first we thought it was like a, te like a telepathy thing. Like she could read your mind or she, you know, whatever kind of power the master had, but obviously it was, we find it was, out that it was, it was, it was just, she was just giving, she was leaking the information to him, to her, I should say. But, um, yeah, the big, the big thing that stuck out. Uh, one last thing for me about uh, the master was 
number one, that she can heal, which was really cool. And that scene was pretty gruesome when she was pushing the friggin' bone back in. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. That uh, we own, we now under, we know for sure that MK is special. He has a lot of power. For him to still be in like so, so um, you know, so much of the beginning of his you know Jedi training, you yeah. know Jesse, that he was still able to haunt to hurt her. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it, 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 we it, pretty much it just shows that he's really strong. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I mean, Luke could have killed Yoda at any point with a lightsaber. But could he yeah. have though? I don't Not know, really. man. Yoda's really. a badass. Yoda on an accident? Yes, he could have. No, I mean, Yoda would have been like, stop, no. Like, <laughs> give Luke more credit than that. Nope, I won't. Hey. Yoda's the man, or the well. When when Yoda was. died, I mean, Luke was still not, uh, you know. Yeah. A hundred percent. He completed uh, his wait, training. Wait, is by, this foreshadowing? By killing by a, will the master die and MK take over? <laughs> Maybe. Wait, I want to say about MK. Anyway, I, I like I like the yeah. fact that um, he uh, oh, don't lose your train of thought now, man. Uh, I, I I like his I, I like that I like their powers how they drain. Like yeah. when they use them, they drain. So she did all that. Yeah. She healed herself. She fought him, healed herself, and she was like, "Ugh, mm-hmm. you know, like yeah, I like it that their powers say, drain." Yeah. It's like it's cool, man. Yeah. You, if I we see that one... a lot in a lot of these kind of similar sci-fi kind of yeah. shows. You know what I mean? A little bit where, you know, look at um, look at Eleven. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. It, and because it's, because that's what would happen. Yeah. It would drain you. Yeah. To, you're you're harnessing <laughs> something from within, obviously. Even yeah. if you're pulling it from, you yeah, know, no. the world around you, you're still harnessing mm-hmm. it, and it drains you, man. You're only you're li- really yeah. only human. You're in a human body, you know. But anyway, yeah, I mean, um, you know, I'm a big nerd, so like comparing it to something that most of the youth will get, Dragon Ball Z or something like that. Right, yeah. They're using their powers, their key, and it's yeah. you know taking their life force yeah yeah but anyway i mean so i mean it what was, else we got oh it was good the about, very how, end very end what yeah we got, i was just gonna say yeah yeah uh we got, baby we got a little little baby clipper we got the baby clipper the boy. little alien <laughs> yep the little alien who and we see the baron is alive still the baron quinn man he's yep so mikey the whole episode mikey's like what man i'm telling you quinn's alive I, I know, and I and I and I feel like I, I a little guilty and a disservice that I didn't really go through and go through all the original first season again. I, we're giving a disservice to the fans of third person, I think, a little bit by nah. not remember, you know. But um, yeah, no, because I remember because obviously he had the tumor, and um, yeah. he had found out that she was pregnant with Sonny's kid, right? And she used her this these potions or something to try to treat him you know i'm pretty sure that was how it, it went down so yeah. um it obviously shows because he seemed healthy in it right don't you think he's he had a color to his but face he was, a little bit more than he was but don't forget remember he what he looked like Sonny stabbed at the him, end of though. season one but so Sonny that, stabbed him. Don't he looks forget a little that. bit healthier than he was at the end so so yeah, and somehow yeah. she sti- she, she stitched healed him up right and she yeah. you know but he may he may we just saw him like get up and sm- hand to the baby and smile we don't know. Like it could show that scene yeah. next episode. And he turns around. And he's like, uh, like all nah. It's six months. Stuff, it's you know? six months. Nah, it's six months. I'm he's just good. Saying, yeah. You never know. That's just oh, I like his character though. The actor doesn't like well, so I'm glad he's kind of back. Yeah, and he's a um, badass too. He's a badass fighter himself. Yeah. Real quick, real quick. Let's wrap this up here. But I just want to yeah. give a, a quick little poll between you two and you guys out there too. Uh, I'm. What do you guys think of the the scenery this time around? And what do you guys think of the expanded world? Oh, amazing. Are you liking the aesthetic? I, I immediately was like, oh, yeah. Mad Max, Mad Max. You know, like I really enjoyed that. And and all the clothing I enjoyed. Yep. I enjoyed um, when Tilda was putting that little fire arrow thing on the top, on a crossbow, on the, uh, you know what I'm saying? On the bolt. Like yeah. I was like, oh, it looks like Dishonored. You know, like it's like yeah. I love yeah. the elements, you know? Oh, no, definitely. I mean, I think we all agree with the whole waterfall where MK was training was an insane scene. Um, even like Jesse had mentioned, like the, the, the castle or whatever, you know, the place on the mountain. Yeah, inside um, the mountain, yeah. Where MK was training looked, looked you know, pretty cool. Um, how about even the widow's, the widow's um, house? Where she was oh, yeah. talking with Tilda, and they had the beautiful stained glass, and that room was really yeah, it's cool. Still like, all busted they always had, up, though. Like, it's yeah, still they, like, yeah. It, it, they always had um, real cool looking, um, you know, houses yeah, their set design, and mansions. Their set design and, is, is like uh, phenomenal, man. It's so good. Yeah. 
You know, I mean, even I the original plantation you around you know? the wires. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. Because you don't need the stunt doubles as much, so like, yeah, they're on wires. We can take some of this money and put it in the sets. Yeah. All right. Right. It's it's a great it's a great aesthetic. I I'm not I I'm not over it. This whole post apocalyptic mm -hmm. elliptic elliptic post apocalyptic scene like i'm not over it and and i really yeah. enjoy they have these colorful beautiful looking clothings like very unique looking sleek looking yeah. clothing against this disgusting stuff um another another thing i did notice that i just wanted to mention is that i do enjoy how most of the clippers even in the first season most of them were not ginormous guys they did have some big no. guys but most no. of them are these wiry kind of guys they don't have big arms and i I'm, i know they did that on very purpose. bruce lee-esque and know, that's in, great because they're sword you know. fighters they're not you know they're martial artists and they're sword fighters they're not wrestlers and and i think yeah. it would have been really shit if they put in like these guys i mean there were some in the first one yeah they were but yeah especially these guys especially riders guys they were all like small like thin kind of guys and like i i just i picked up on that and i enjoyed it kudos i enjoy that um yeah yeah they all uh, they all look like Sonny, you know. Yeah. Well, it would be a little it would, it would be a little odd if you had some monster guys jumping and leaping and jumping off walls. Yeah. And so yeah. It might not. Yeah. It might look a little, you know. It might look. But a people little, do it uh, though. People do unbelievable. it. Unbelievable. People, movies and TV yeah. shows do it. So I don't know. Um, I guess. I guess so. Anything else? Anything else you guys want to mention? You know, just I want to, the fight scenes uh, again. You know, a little a little so janky yeah, just sure. here and there, but just really still yeah. amazing. We, we were all just like, I think ah! I, I mean, it was there was some gruesomeness, and we even mentioned it during the live reaction about uh, about how people always bitched about um, the Walking Dead and how gruesome that show can be, but this was just like we had guys' heads getting chopped off, and and uh, yep, blades when the widow was slicing yeah. up when the widow was slicing up that guy and. Uh, you know, it was. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that it's been. You know, so I'm glad the show's back. The world. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm glad the show's back. You know, it's oh, been yeah. a long time coming, and I'm excited for the next. Yeah, you know? it's gonna be good. So, guys, uh, as we wrap this up here, why don't you guys let us know what you thought of this episode? If you guys are planning on watching the rest of it, um, I have a question. Let us know if you want us to do a review, like a legit review, like we normally do, um, and uh, you know. Uh, just, just let us know and then um you know again just give us give us your theories where do you think this is gonna go where do you think this yeah. season's gonna go who's your favorite character anything you want to talk about the show because we're coming back it's really awesome uh you know we want to stick with it so we really like it and um yep. uh so i'll just mention if you guys want to get to us you can obviously leave comments there if you want to get to us um on any of the socials it's at third person pod if you want to if you're listening to us on itunes thank you very much if you wouldn't mind leaving a thank review you. that would help us out a lot if you don't know how to get to us on itunes just type in third person podcast on itunes you get to us if you're watching us on youtube thank you very much and finally, don't forget, we're still doing that third-person um, promo with um, our friends at ComicBlitz.com. Yes, we uh, are. Third-person yep. pod. You type that in. You get yourself three months of comics for only three bucks. It's a dollar a month for your first three months. Three bucks gets you unlimited comics. Why wouldn't you do that? Go and check out some awesome comics. You got no choice. <laughs> you got no reason not to get, do it. Get, get your bitch on. Damn right. Damn right. Guys, thank <laughs> you so much. We enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys did too. And we will see you on the next episode for Into the Badlands. So peace out. Peace.